Introducing the Serengeti Minimally Invasive Retractor System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. For many, back pain exists as a fact of life. When posterior effusion becomes necessary, minimally invasive surgery is often turned to as a standard of care. The Serengeti Minimally Invasive Retractor System from K2M offers all the benefits of a minimally invasive approach along with the ease and visualization of an open procedure. Place the patient in a prone position, taking care to preserve the sagittal alignment of the spine. Use the pedicle access needle to locate the pedicle. With fluoroscopic guidance, advance the pedicle access needle to the desired depth within the vertebral body and remove the inner stylet. Insert the guide wire past the distal end of the cannula into the vertebral body. Next, carefully remove the needle and verify that the placement of the guide wire has not been compromised. Position the cannulated perfect scalpel over the guide wire and advance through the fascia to create a consistent fascial incision. In preparation for tapping the pedicle, place the inner dilator over the guide wire and advance through the muscle to the pedicle, ensuring a flush position with the bony anatomy. This is followed by the outer dilator. Remove the inner dilator while keeping downward pressure on the outer dilator. Prepare the pedicle for screw insertion by advancing the all tap over the guide wire and into the vertebral body to create a thread pattern. Take a lateral x-ray to ensure the tap is collinear with the guide wire. External markings on the tap provide a reference for how far the tap has advanced into the bone. After the pedicle has been prepared, fully back out the tap. Pull up on the outer dilator and remove the all tap and outer dilator together. Select the proper screw implant and load onto the Serengeti screw inserter. The polyaxial screw is partially threaded onto the inserter and placed into the screw alignment guide. Fully tighten the Serengeti screw inserter to ensure a collinear alignment. The Serengeti retractor is slipped over the screw and attached to the pegs on the blue anti-rotation sleeve and the locking ring is pushed down. Advance the Serengeti screw inserter over the guide wire. Once the screw reaches the pedicle, take a lateral x-ray to ensure the screw is collinear with the guide wire. Push the Serengeti retractor down to the pedicle to protect the soft tissue during screw insertion. Insert the screw into the vertebral body using the external reference afforded by the blue anti-rotation sleeve to ensure the screw is not advanced too far into the bone. Once the screw is satisfactorily positioned, pull up on the blue locking ring and spin the Mickey Mouse ears counterclockwise to disengage the Serengeti screw inserter. Prior to rod insertion, use the screw head adjuster to align the screw heads and place Gelpi retractors one to two holes above skin level in order to open the Serengeti retractor. This allows for direct visibility and access to the screw head for easy rod insertion. Place the MI rod calipers into the most cranial and caudal screw housing to determine the appropriate rod length. Load the hex end of the rod onto the rod inserter and secure by fully tightening the dial at the proximal end of the inserter. Place the rod into the Serengeti retractor and down to the saddle of the first screw. Insert the rod by using the tapered tip to slide through the muscle tissue and use the direct visualization afforded by the Serengeti retractor to pass the rod from screw head to screw head. Attach the set screw to the short provisional screwdriver by applying a downward force to engage the hexalope tip and thread into the implant housing. If reduction is necessary, Utilize the visualization provided by the retractors to determine the orientation of the screw head. Position the yellow jacket down the Serengeti retractor and apply a downward force directly over the screw head to attach the instrument. Pull axially on the instrument to confirm attachment. For fast action reduction, push the locking bar forward and squeeze the handles together. The line on the measurement window will confirm that the rod is fully reduced. Attach the set screw to the provisional screwdriver and pass it through the yellow jacket into the implant housing. For controlled reduction, attach the yellow jacket and turn the proximal knob. The instrument window will indicate when the rod is fully reduced into the screw head. The praying mantis may also be used as a reduction option. Position the instrument down the Serengeti retractor and apply a downward force to engage the instrument into the screw head. A medial lateral motion may be required to lock onto the screw head. Pull axially to confirm attachment and close the handle to reduce the rod. The yellow jacket can be used to final tighten the set screw. Attach the torque limiting handle to the MI hex driver and place it down the cannula of the yellow jacket using the offset handles as an anti-torque. Final tightening is accomplished when the torque limiting handle relieves resistance and emits an audible click. In addition to the yellow jacket, final tightening may also be achieved by using the anti-torque handle with either the praying mantis or anti-torque tube. The Serengeti retractor is designed with breakaway features for easy removal after locking the construct. 
Position the retractor extractor onto the Serengeti retractor, ensuring the locating pin is securely placed into the screw. Engage the top two holes of the Serengeti retractor to the pins on the shaft of the retractor extractor. A rapid closing of the handle will separate the Serengeti retractor at the breakaway features. Even in more complex cases, the benefits of a minimally invasive surgery are becoming more and more apparent. Place pedicle screws percutaneously through the standard approach. An appropriately sized rod may be attached to the MI rod inserter and contoured using a French bender. The rod can be inserted into the complex curve utilizing the flexibility of the Serengeti retractors which allow for direct visualization while passing the rod from screw head to screw head, a luxury unique to the Serengeti system. For reduction, compression, distraction, and other manipulation, the minimally invasive reduction tunnels can be used. These reduction tunnels provide 30 millimeters of controlled reduction, compression, and distraction. Determine the orientation of the screw head and apply downward pressure directly over the screw to attach the reduction tunnel. Slide the anti-torque handle over the MI reduction tunnel and, with a quick connect handle attached to the adapter chuck, reduce the rod. The line on the measurement window will line up with zero to confirm the rod is fully reduced. Set screws may be placed using the short driver and provisionally tightened through the cannulated MI reduction tunnels. For above skin compression and distraction, back off the reduction tunnel 5 millimeters and loosen the set screw. Snap the MIS fulcrum over the two reduction tunnels, adjust the switch of the MIS compressor distractor to compression or distraction mode, and place the instrument beneath the fulcrum. Compress or distract using the square driver. When this process is complete, tighten the backed off set screw and remove the fulcrum. The anti-torque handle and torque limiting driver may then be used to final tighten the set screw. Remove the reduction tunnels by turning the proximal handle counterclockwise until the instrument is removed. The Serengeti Minimally Invasive Retractor System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations.